What's going on? My name is Kay Kurd. I'm Marcus Brunzi. We are the Ain't Got A Clue podcast. Now, yeah. if you're here and you want to support us a little bit more, yeah. here's what you can do. Yeah, man. Well, you're about to listen to a clip of our bonus episode called More Of A Clue. And you can listen to the whole of that if you're on the on Apple Podcast app. You just head to it, yeah? I'm, I'm looking at it right now. There's a little button when you search our, our podcast and it says try free. Yeah. You get three, day, three days for free. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, you're going to finish all the episodes in three nah, days. No chance, it? So bro. just try sign up in it. Yeah. Uh, for the price of a coffee every month, you get episodes ad-free, early, all of that jazz. Exactly. Anyway, let's get on with a clip of our bonus episode, More of a Clue. As soon as your music starts getting used for adverts and stuff like that, it immediately, it's it's, it's getting into the pits. Jacken. A hundred percent. So you see when you start seeing like an energy drink using a rap, vi- rap song or yeah. rap... Vi- you're like, bro, it just makes it all corny and cliche, yeah? Yeah. And even now, like, a lot of the hip-hop that you hear is just, like, it's unimpressive. It's just shit and boring. And it's not just us be Like, with TikTok and whatever, with, like, how disposable it is, Yeah. none of this stuff is lasting. You're looking at, like, people like Wu-Tang, for example. They they can tour now and they'll still sell out a tour. Yeah. 50 Cent, the same thing. Yeah. Jay, Nas... No, I was just releasing an album the other day. Of course, people are banging it out, but it's it's very. I th- I I liken it to like John Bon Jovi going on tour. As in the legends. Yeah, the legends tour, will yeah. still tour. The rock and roll legends still on tour, but at, in the eighties, you wouldn't have thought rock would die. You'd have been like, "What do you mean rock and roll is dead? What do you mean there'll be no more rock stars?" Yeah. And then lo and behold, in twenty three years, you're like, "Shit, there's no more rock stars. Who's a, who's a rock star right now? There isn't." I think. I think. What I've seen is there's been, like you said, a, a, a increase in the in the production of music because the barrier is so low. It's me and you could record an album right now with this podcast microphones. That would be doesn't matter. Whether, whether, whether we you could like music do it. Have you got music? We could Robert do it with tunes. the. You, uh, do you want to? What do you want to be? The R and B girl on this track, and <laughs> and I'll be the rapper. Or can you rap? <laughs> well, everything's a remix nowadays, so we have got to find a song without me mashing up the page. We have got to find a song that. Should we do Jar Rule and Ashanti? Or is that a bit? Is that a bit? That's that got to be like a, a a drill remix or something. I don't know. What have you got? What about Lean Back? <laughs> what about Lean Back? You we, we can do the everything's a remix nowadays, bro. A Lean Back, you know, that's absolutely lean back. classic. Lean Back. Now I think today we're in a situation where everyone can just make music. Let's see how good it actually sounds with our new voices. Our new voices, yeah. Okay. What we what what have we got here? Let me try and um, get this through the desk as well. But um. I don't know, man. I, I think I think hip hop's on its knees, and I think hip hop's dead and whatever as well. And, and it's why a remix? Just... What is this? It's just a, a random remix, isn't it, blood? Yeah. This is how people spit over remixes. You don't have originals nowadays. Yeah, it's about remixes. No, so this I can't is a, rap over this. You can't bro. rap over Street Fighter, no. Yo, ain't got a clue. What ain't you got a do? clue. Who ain't got a clue. I ain't got a clue. Hey, 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 yo, you can eat. <laughs> you can even chill, hey. you can never move. Ain't got a clue, ain't got a clue. What are you gonna. Nah, nah, we're gonna stop doing that. Nah, right now, bruv. Right now, bruv. But anyway. Like, I think your point is, is that there's a lot of trash music out there. And someone would release a song like what we just heard there with some decent, half decent vocals, and it would work because the barrier to entry is low, which I'm happy about. <laughs> However, the art of a artist crafting a, an album is different like for, I, I, so for I, I, example yeah. Kendrick Lamar's Good Kid Mad City that was an actual story you listen to from beginning to end and now there is not is as it? much money yeah it's a proper story <laughs> <I'm joking>. like, <laughs> like, I didn't to like end. to pimp a butterfly yeah but he still put effort in Good Kid Mad City was and good t- yeah, t- yeah. he still took time and an effort for, for him you could listen to that and be like, I don't like it but you still feel like he tried to craft yeah, something but, more than a viral video but there's video. nobody in their 20s that are like getting that level of acclaim doing that there's, you know what, there are, I was literally having this conversation, this conversation the other day, there are a few people who are still trying to craft music in their own lane, and I would give a massive shout out to Jay Huss, UK artist, whether you like his music or not, mm. he has his own sound, and he's doing his own thing, Yeah, and he's not following trend, he's making his own music, I and, and I can appreciate with his album, that. To be honest with you, though. I thought it was okay. But you know what? I listened to it and I was like, f- it felt refreshing to listen to someone who wasn't trying to follow a trend. Some but of the tunes know, on the album are right. like three, old, three years old, but it's all good. But do, do you know what it is for me though, Mark? Is this me being old talking? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go on, no, go on. I was listening to the lyrics and I was like, this is... They're okay. I was like, 
Usner and <laughs> what, what does this even mean, bro? It, it's just how he does his thing. But there is a massive hip hop no, influence in all the artists that you mentioned that are big, though. Even Burner Boy, it's fair to say that even as a Nigerian artist, there's a massive US influence. Like he'll 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 do a song where he speaks Yoruba, he'll speak um, Pidgin, and then he'll speak American like rap slang as well. Do you get me? Like so, it kind of. There is a little bit of a hip hop energy behind some I... of these big artists. Bad Bunny as well. A lot of the tunes that he drops that, that like I feel like there is a bit of a hip hop influence in there as well. But you're right. There is it's things are shifting, but I'm I'm just interested to see how it goes. As long as I can get my little Nas album once in a while, yeah. As long as I can get my little J. Cole, my little friggin' Kendrick, I'm fine. If those guys stop making music, I'm only listening to podcasts and sports radio from now on, bro. I only listen to like a lot of that old music. Like you see one of my new music list comes on mm -hmm. now playlist comes on mm. i listen to 10 seconds of every song i'm like nope yeah next yeah next yeah next oh yeah. dance song okay yeah. yeah the dance songs i'll probably listen to more nowadays ironically really? rather than yeah because i'm like i'm very conscious about the lyrics in which i listen to nowadays really yes that strikes a lot of hip-hop off the map then yeah because why i fucked your bitch you get me? The the stuff I listen to, I still listen to the old music that I've already got memories with. Okay. Because Biggie was saying some quite funky stuff, bro. Yeah, but even a lot of that stuff I've stopped listening to. Really? Yes. Wow. I've I've stopped listening to a lot of stuff that was like blatantly just killing and murder. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm done with that. I'm done with it. Unless, honestly, unless it's somebody who's really seen something or described something, I'm not interested yeah. in just... Oh, I, I stopped listening to a lot of Pusha T because... Dread, why you got to send shots like that for, bro? No, I stopped listening to a lot of Pusha T because I was like, I can't really relate to a man talking about this much drug dealing. I feel like when he talks, it's a it's quite interesting point of view. Yeah, but I, I just couldn't relate to it in any way or like, and I didn't find it motivating in any way. Really? So I was like, I need to, I can't listen to this anymore. I like Don't Pusha get me T. wrong, it was very skilled and very talented. I'm in the top 1% of like Pusha T listeners I, in the I know, world. I know, I know, that's what... That's why Kay said it to me, he knew he stuck the knife in, hurt me. <sighs> no, but you can, I yeah. think you can understand what I'm saying though. <laughs> yeah, 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 I can, I can. I, I mean? If you can't like, relate I, to it... Yeah, I know, I know he's like impressive and he's a great rapper and whatever, but for me, it's just like... I'm, I'm trying to be a lot more conscious about what I listen to. I feel, yeah, I feel the same. I like, I don't mind if artists talk about certain things, but I need to be able to relate to it. So, for example, let's pick another artist. I like it when Drake's doing happy, fun stuff, love stuff. When he does the bad man talk, leave it out, bruv. Leave it out, bruv. I, I like, I've got a whole playlist of Drake rapping. That's nice. Yeah, I like it when yeah. he raps. But if when he's he raps. Like, but, and, but it's, Drake's bad man talk is always more about numbers he's selling. and. Oh, I love that. That, yeah, that, yeah. Don't, that don't stuff, be on that, the. Don't be yeah, on the. When me and my guys come around. When you and no, your guys come around, we're gonna have a lovely time. <laughs> yeah, no. we're gonna have a, we're gonna love a time. Bit of food. Although I've heard some stuff that yeah, that man. really had me going. Oh, uh, nah, um, yeah, nah, bro. Fake rumors. I'm gonna call that now. Nah, I can tell it. You can see it. So he's not. Not that guy. him. Oh yeah. Oh, his people. Yes. Uh, everyone's got people. Then what? The, yeah, I, yeah, that's no, why no, I hate rappers. Not, that are not like, him. I got guys that are on the. Even that's it. When rappers do that stuff anywhere, I got guys that I'm like. Yeah, not him, but like. Yeah, but I like when Drake's just like, like when he's all like, I gave Yoda um, the hook, the verse and whatever. And mm -hmm. it's like, that's why every song sounds like it's Drake featuring Drake. Oh, yeah. Right. That, yeah, like, that kind of yeah. cocky Guess talk. Yourself. Yeah. I like, and that's what I like. To, I like that's that. what I like about Jay-Z and Nas yeah, as well at that age that. where they get, when they're on their like real cocky sort mm -hmm. of bravado shit. Mm -hmm. But it's done in a way where you're like, oh, that was impressive. Yeah. Or that was Whereas I feel like. There's a lot of newer artists that just say stuff and you're like, I can't like I can't listen to a lot of rappers that are just talking about eating pussy and I have oh, wow. anytime I start hearing sex talk on about in hip hop, I'm like, oh this I can't Really? Talk. Can't. Wow. I've I've really like changed the way Vanilla like, K, what, yeah? what I listen to. No, do you, I'm do you just far listen from to vanilla. Do you just wanna just listen to like I'm uh, do you listen to vanilla. like a clean playlist? Shall I get your clean playlist no, where no, it just no. cuts out the like, words? I'm far from vanilla, yeah, like in my in my private life, but <laughs> I'm not. Hey, you get to know, yeah. But I feel like, you know, when like, you know where it's like, you know, real bad men don't talk about what they do. Yeah. yeah. And when I'm hearing rappers going, "Yo, what sex this?" Like, oh, shut oh up. a lot of them are lying. But I don't mind listening to a song about sex though. I don't like it though. I'm like, this what is about just an R and B vulgar. song where it's all this like, is just I just no. But even R and B, it was always like, I want to make love to you. Yeah. Like you want me to. It wasn't no. like back in the day. Now there's women talking about busting yeah, it open. Yeah, see, all you know, of that. Like that whack, I'm, no? I'm very like, ch chill out, man. 
Really? Like, I'm not on this whole... Like, when I, because I don't like it when men do it, let alone women. Mm, like, I don't mm. like it when any of them do it. So when I'm hearing, like, real vulgar lyrics, I'm like, leave a bit to the imagination, man. That's really? why I like old school R&B. Even though they were talking about cheating or, yeah. like, they, like, I want you back or yeah. whatever. But it was all done like, oh, I love you so much. Like, I'm passionate about it. It wasn't like... Like, I, I did not like Trey Song saying, girl, I invented sex and all mm. of that sort of stuff. Like... Like, I'm going to get you in the bed. I'm going to lick it down. Like, all of that shit. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out, bruv. I've got to be straight with you, Kate. I'm absolute filth when it comes to that kind of music, bruv. I'm invested, you know. I've I've got Fair playlists enough. that agrees. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever see me driving in my car, I'm just smiling going, yeah. Just know. You just yeah. pull over. You just pull over and start. Uh, yes. If I swallow it over, sweating on you, I'm playing. Let me reload that tune from the start. <sighs> <laughs> Boom. So if you like that and you want to hear more of that sort of stuff, uh, go and sign up to mm. more of a clue. Well, you know, on the Apple Podcast app, gives you a little bonus content. Mm, that's it. Press that try, try free button. You get three days free trial. No way you're going to get through the content in that time because we put so much bonus stuff up there. And then for the price of a coffee, roll with us. Become part of the Clueless clan. And if enough of you sign up, we might start looking like the guys in the pictures again. <laughs>